I heard that you had an idea about shopping carts or uh, for well, how did you call it shopping marts? <laughs> shopping marts. Shopping yeah. shopping stores. Shopping stores. Shopping stores. That's what it was. The Tell me your idea stores. about. See, I'm a I'm a CEO. I'm a big tycoon for uh, the shopping markets. Yes, I'm uh, I'm uh, Theodore Tycoon Smith, and I own the Save a Lot. Tycoon Smith. I like that. I wear no, glasses. I wear glasses. I look like Teddy Roosevelt, and I uh, I walk around Pins, with a cane. Pinstripe suit. Pinstripe suit. Yes, and I like to punch Very random important. people. Look at uh, Beetlejuice. I'm also very successful with uh, shopping stores. And uh, I would love to hear your ideas on how to make us more money and streamline our events as far as carts. More money. Give me more money. It's a money. good idea, but I know it'll never happen because it involves cutting people, like actual people's jobs out. And I, I know that just wouldn't happen. I thought you were going to say cutting, cutting people. people's hearts like, out. Yeah, I thought cutting people's hearts out or something like that. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, you could, but... <laughs> Well, I'll say, young man, tell me all about it. I saw, I was watching, it was at a TV or something on CNN probably a week or two ago, and I don't know if you guys have seen this or know about this, but in, like, I think it was either Japan or China, they have, um, like, these bike stops. You know how we have the, like, when you go to, like, the library or store or whatever, you can tie your bike up and, you know, park it with the chain and stuff so no one takes it. They have a system where you, you ride your bike up and you pretty much just let it catch on this machine and it gives you a code number and it takes your bike into like a, a photo booth type thing and it brings it underground and it stores it kind of like in um, like Tokyo trip uh, drifted. If you guys have seen that. Yeah, yeah I remember that. that. And it's also making me think of like the Jetsons when it folds it up and puts it into like a, a bike closet or something like that. Yeah. So pretty much same exact thing. So, and then you come back later and, and whatever, and you just punch your code in and it automatically brings your bike up for you. And you, you know, you get on, you leave. You know how when you go to like the stopping stores, either like Walmart, Target, whatever, they have the designated spots in the parking lots where the carts are supposed to go. Well, what if you have it so it's on kind of like an angle or whatever, and you just push the carts in there, and they all sit there, and then they feed into like a same like same like tunnel system type thing, and that automatically just brings it into the store, and then it just pops up one at a time, and then you can just take your cart and go, and then when you leave, just push it back into that designated spot, and it starts to process all over again. So it's kind of like the inner tubes at Water Country when you're waiting at the bottom of the slide, and then it comes down and gives you the tube so you can go back up and ride down again. Right, pretty much same exact thing. Interesting. I think that I think that's genius. I think you should buy, 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 Mister Smith from the Winchester Smiths. Uh, I I say I say in my Beetlejuice suit. I think this is a great idea. <laughs> Shop, <laughs> shopping like stores. Bush. Shopping stores <laughs> with uh with shopping carts with AI on it. <laughs> but you know, it'll know it's a it's an idea. But I know it'll never happen because it involves you know firing the. A couple of car attendants that these stores have, so I know that won't ever I think happen. the digging up the parking lots might be also a hindrance. Mm. Now, would the I tunnel go underneath? Hole, yeah, not the to store? like old stores. If you know, if you're if some if they're opening like a new like Walmart or something somewhere, have it like that part of their plan as they're building type thing. Not, I'm not saying Do you go. You think the customers of Walmart stores. have enough techno technological know how to actually operate something like that? They just stare at it like a bunch of monkeys around a monolith. <laughs> Well, I mean, that could be a test, you know, if Walmart shoppers could figure out, this could really catch on. We're, we're doomed, then. We're, we are doomed. Now, <laughs> it would be one stop where the shopping stores would have, where you just, you, you bring it to one particular location, or would it be multiple tunnels going into the store, underground, I climb in, in these there? Tunnels. This sounds I, fun. Is this like a giant, like, network of tunnels underneath every shopping exactly. center that ever? That would be great, and there would be it's, sort of like an underground railroad of tunnel carts. Right? The shopping See? stores would have be multiple tunnels. Under there. There'd be like it's kind of like a, a, a real-life version of Minecraft. We just start building stuff underground. I wouldn't be surprised if the stupid people actually thought that was an entrance. <laughs> we got another dummy stuck in the tunnel again. Which shopping <laughs> store is it? They rode it like it was a roller coaster to try and get inside. They didn't make it. <laughs> Find dead God, bodies of people. <laughs> Jammed in between it shopping it store carts. <laughs> store cards. I honestly could see so if, if especially if it was a Walmart, I could see someone dumb enough to get stuck inside of there. I it, see like someone's kid getting stuck in there, or they're like uh, their pork rinds, and then like reaching down, losing a hand as they try to pull them out. Yep, it would be very popular for the homeless people to live in. I see a lot of lawsuits happening here. This is uh, how are we going to avoid that? 
Well, yeah, I just, uh, you know, it's just an idea of designing. I'm not a just safety idea, man. Yeah. We're going to have to hire a person to guard it. Yeah, that the, the so the, that, the, well, the guys who move the cards already are... has a, um, I don't know, whatever you want to call him, a security guard or whatever sitting inside the store. So would it have like you know a I robot hiding, you know, watching people, making sure they don't go down there, and as soon as they go down there, he kills them. Or the shopping carts could kill them because they're that AI. Them. The shopping oh, stores could have self-aware shopping carts. This is like some Terminator back. bullshit. Yeah, now we're getting some back. Judgment Day is coming. Judgment Day is coming. It's gonna be Shopping like back stores. In Overdrive, that Stephen King movie, where the where some trucks with a Truck goblin and, uh, mask will be attacking us, and, and Emilio we'll Estevez too. ATMs well, are gonna tell you to go DJ. fuck yourself. Well, as long as Emilio Estevez comes back, I'm okay. Yeah, when then we're safe. We need a <laughs> we need another Mighty Ducks movie. Could you imagine a movie Thank about God that? You said it. Emilio <laughs> Estevez as the shopping cart master. <laughs> Jake Feelgood. The working title. This could be a horror movie where the shopping carts go evil. Shopping stores, too. Well, they, they will have a mind of their own, you know, so you never know what they're going to do. Just confuse people. Just name it like part three. And it's the <laughs> first movie coming out. <laughs> New movie from Couch Masters called Part Two. No, not, not, not just part two. It would be... <laughs> <laughs> that would really confuse people. I'm going out to see that right now. <laughs> the the card attendant part two. Part two. Part two what? Card attendant two. No, would, wouldn't be card attendant. Fucking around. Okay, yeah. give me a moment. Ready? Emilio Estevez as Jake Feelgood in Shopping Stores Three. Bum bum bum. <laughs> this time they're coming for blood. We need to make this movie. It needs to happen. ASAP. That's true at all. <laughs> Shopping stores starring Ray Winston. I don't know where all the shopping carts are. Where are they? Where are you hiding them? Where the hell am I going to put all these bloody shopping carts? Get Samuel Jackson. Oh, man. Let's get it. Yeah. Okay. If we're going to do this movie, the only way I'm, do I'm involved is Samuel Jackson. <laughs> what, what would the opening skip be if Samuel L. Jackson was involved? His penis. Sold. Yeah. His penis. I knew that, I knew that, I knew that gets you, D-Ray. Right? Yep. No, no, Sold. no. He, he, here it is. Here it is. Open up. You have Samuel L. Jackson coming out of the shopping store, and he's going to his car, and he's got all his groceries, and he's only got half of them put away in his car. He turns around. His shopping cart is already driving toward the shopping tunnel. He goes, motherfucker, you better bring back my groceries, and he falls it down to the catacombs of the tunnels, and he finds out there's this huge network of self-aware shopping carts and they hold him hostage and then ray winston has to come in and he has to save samuel L. jackson and samuel L. jackson always has these funny one-liners while ray winston is trying to save him right Do we have ray winston for this is he signed up already yeah, or he, he agreed he doesn't have oh, much wow. going on oh great judge reinhold on this too he hasn't done much either he could be a bag boy he's like oh, they please. took away my jobs and ray winston's like oi shut up they we got to tell you. <laughs> Shut up now. We got to pay attention. <laughs> God damn it. I was Beowulf. Can we get him? I really enjoy watching him beat people up. What, Ray Winston? Jason Statham. Oh, Jason. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm Jason Statham. I'm here to race shopping store carts. It sounds exactly like the last voice you did. <laughs> which is which Us is British on. people, yeah. we all sound the same. That's 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 true. I've he comes in sideways on a on a Audi shopping cart. Hello, 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 uh, yeah. hello. Mini I'm from London, England. I was in Hugo and Sweeney and Snow White the Huntsman. <laughs> the the what? The Huntsman. The Huntsman. The Huntsman. Yes. It's German. The, what is the this? Unston, starring Ray Winston. Kirsten Dunstan. What? Hello, hello. My name is Ray Winston. I don't understand you. Speak English. I am speaking proper English. <laughs> you bloody we twat. Also possibly get Emma Stone at some point to be in this. Yeah, Tosa. Listen, how, how high of a budget do we have to work with? I've got like 20 bucks. I mean, I think her top list would just sell the whole shopping cart movie. I don't I don't have 30 bucks. Who would be the who would who would be the bad guy? 
The shopping carts. The shopping carts. No, no, no. But there's there has to be like a, a head shopping cart. Could okay, it be so like the be former bad boy? boy? There needs to be one. It's actually no. It could be Judge Reinhold. D Ray would be the bad guy. No, yeah, Judge Reinhold. Judge Reinhold yeah. is the former bag boy, and he can play semi-retarded. He doesn't want to go full oh, retarded. Oh, how, oh, I got one. I got one. Judge Reinhold <laughs> actually reprograms the shopping carts to do his evil bidding. <laughs> <laughs> For payback. <laughs> For payback on Emma Stone because she wouldn't blow him. There Perfect. it is. You're, you are. You got you, tunnel vision on this Emma Stone thing. <laughs> yeah. Which I don't blame you. I can't, I can't argue. Go ahead. Do, do like... the telephone voice. Phil, I also t- think Miley Cyrus should be twerking somewhere at some point in this movie. Oh, that she's be twerking, and then all of a sudden the, comes out. the shopping store carts relevant. would bump her. We need Emma Stone naked and topless in this fucking movie. If we need any fucking success, that's the truth of the matter here. So let's get this whore naked. Yes, sir, NBC Studios. Okay, I wonder how many directors it. have said that. Get on it, Couch Masters. Get this movie made. Ray Winston, Samuel L. Jackson, and Judge Reinhold, co-starring Emma Watson in Shopping Store Boy. Two. Two. I, I, I think we got a blockbuster right here. I think someone's going to bust something. That's what I'm hoping for. I can see dollar signs, boys. Let's do it. <laughs> brilliant, <Thank> brilliant. <laughs> I, it, it hurts to talk like this. It, it hurts me, too. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yes, that's right, that's how much. Question mark and lots of dollars behind. <laughs> Never sure if you're going to make that first dollar or not, so it's always a question mark. Step okay, one. Exactly. Step one, Ray Winston. Step two, Samuel L. Jackson. Step three, Emma Watson. Step four, question mark. Step five, Profits. 